Hello everybody. Today I thought we would be taking a um, nice little look at a rather quite neat game called Atom Zombie Smasher by Blendo Games. A small strategy slash tactics game in which you're responsible for um, protecting against the zombie hordes. I think the best way to demonstrate is to just jump straight into it. So, new campaign, normal game. Let's go. The story in this is barely sensible and actually quite amusing in its own right. That being said, this is the world map, or the area map, in which we can send our uh, blimp on missions. So what we'll do is go to the city, we'll select our evacuation helicopter, and put it somewhere away from the zombies, in the hopes that we can rescue as many of these civilians as we can. So we see our helicopter coming in, and zombies pouring into the streets. We have the unfortunate situation where it's the uh, shortest day daytime possible. So this is going to be quite a massacre, I think. Uh, yeah, this isn't looking good for the people of this fair city. Yep, now it's the night time, so here they come. At least we managed to rescue some people, but that'll be all she wrote. Yep. Well, we saved 52 people, but 73 of them were lost to the hordes. Terribly unfortunate, that. The aim of this game, either way, is to make sure to get to the end before the zombies do. And once you have collected enough on your victory track, you start unlocking benefits. And this goes for both sides. Points, they're scored uh, based on uh, how well you manage to rescue civilians and since they score the most points for infecting civilians. Fortunately though, our helicopter is a bit faster right now, so with a little bit of luck we might actually be able to pull this off rather quite nicely. Now we have a new mercenary unit, the 179th Thunder Luckies. A group of infantry who will shoot any zombies that approach them. Of course, your mercenaries do start out very inexperienced, and they'll have to uh, progress through training in order to get better. So as you can see, these guys, they're just firing and firing, but they're not really doing much useful. Really though, guys, you... We need to kill those zombies. We, we don't. We don't want them encroaching on the helicopter area. But we're actually doing very well right now. We're um, rescuing a lot of the civilians. Uh, 
I think with the daytime almost being over, though, these people, they, uh, they don't really have high hopes of escape, unfortunately. No, they don't. That zombie's gonna get them now. Yeah. That's a shame. Well, we tried as best we could. And we managed to rescue 84 people with only 41 infections. A tragedy all the same, but what can you do? So, with our score we are actually ahead of the Zeds a little bit. And we have ourselves some dynamite so that we can uh, do some atom zombie exploding. This is the part where um, zombies are going to start gaining the advantage, because every turn you'll get points from controlled territory. And this is another area in which the Zeds actually excel. Right, so, let's see how we want to play this. I think if I put the evac helicopter somewhat near here... And I put the infantry down... Then I can use the dynamite... Put it here... 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 And here. Now, hopefully, when the zombies start approaching, the infantry will take care of the group coming this way, and the dynamite will get the ones coming up here. With all that in mind, let's commence. So I have my finger on the trigger here. Yeah, go. And this is how we can also win, by taking over a city. This way we managed to rescue everyone, except for one unfortunate fellow. We get good points, and not only that, but we, um, we actually capture the territory, which will give us a uh, small but consistent boost to uh, the victory track. Proceeding onwards, we have a little vi vignette. I could go for some vodka hold. I don't know what it is, but it sounds amazing. On that note, we're, we're still only tackling small uh, level 1 areas because of the fact that we uh, can't actually muster enough firepower to tackle the bigger ones just yet. But once our um, once our team starts getting some more experience under their belt, we're going to start seeing some uh, much greater gains. So I will have the sniper team. The sniper team just sits on their roof and shoots at every zombie in this uh, blue colored area, but the, um, the aim point is where they'll prioritize, so zombies closer to that will get shot first. That said, let's get onwards. My idea here is that uh, once I trigger the dynamite, the soldiers should be able to take care of the remaining zombies. Oh yes, 
Yeah, this is going to be another good victory, I think. Oh yes, we'll be able to take all the zombies out here, no doubt. I'm actually being unusually successful today. No zombie infections at all, even. I was not expecting that, but I'm very happy it went that way. Now we have some anti-Z explosives. At this point, I'm starting to think that, yes, now we only have the soldiers and the dynamite. Yes, sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Strictly speaking, the worst that could happen is uh, a complete and utter failure, but we will just be ready for that eventuality. There we go, so we have some landmines down. I'm gonna put another one down here. Our helicopter should go somewhere pretty central, somewhere like here. And our soldiers can be uh, they can start out in this area and then work their way downwards as the dynamite goes off. Let's see how that battle plan works out. So, fingers on the trigger. some infections. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's, this is not good. Okay, this is actually extremely not good. Um, guys, I have the utmost of faith in your ability to kill these zombies. Because if you don't, we're all going to have a very, very bad time. Excuse you guys. Uh oh. Oh no. You should have stayed in the safe zone, you. You cads. I don't want these soldiers to get some target practice on the zombies. Uh, just so that they can start earning their experience and get better at the whole killing zombies thing. Guys, quit hugging the zombies. I get that they're probably your former loved ones and whatever, but really it's a, it's a poor decision. You're the guys who gets everyone killed in the zombie movies. Well, this person is uh, very screwed. It could have gone worse, that. It also could have gone better, but I'm not going to complain. An upgrade from 40% to 60% accuracy is a big deal. So, I believe that our soldiers are going to be very good at what they do soon. Shorter daytime, less Zeds. And we have snipers, landmines, and Zed bait. I don't think that we'll have the capacity for another one of those major. Um, uh, 
major outbreaks, but we can go for a small territory. And our snipers can start out by focusing on those two lanes. Meanwhile, we can put a landmine here and then use the Z-bait to actually delay all of the zombies in the uh, starting area here until they're actually all set to hit the landmines. I think that'll be a good, good battle plan. just reposition and hopefully those uh, zombies will reach the landmines before uh, before nightfall and will actually control this area ah smack on time I think if it had taken one more second I would not have been able to capture this area And only one infection at that. Oh yes, artillery. Wonderful. With artillery support, I am confident in our abilities to um, dominate a level 2 area. Is difficult to argue with that logic, I must say. Z bait, artillery, and dynamite. As not a good equipment, because at the end of the day, once we're out of explosives, it's not going to be so easy to uh, to recover from. But I think this is a good site for the Z bait, and the artillery can just continuously fire. So long as we don't actually have too many infections from zombies, I think I think this should be manageable. Perhaps not. See, once the Zed bait stop. Oh. Okay, a decently enough damaging hit, but not, not perfect. I think I'll want to put the explosive here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so that zombie actually narrowly, narrowly avoided the crowded area. How many people are there here? Will we be able to get them before the zombies arrive? Extremely danger close, but better dead than Zed, as the saying goes. Yeah, that's acceptable losses. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that these people are going to be able to avoid 
complete zombification. So remember that the zombies actually do gain a lot of points from infecting people, which means that we actually do need to think a bit harshly and prepare for the worst. Still, only 11 infections. I think that's definitely a good outcome, all things considered. And now we have some barricades. God fights on the side with the best artillery. Zed doesn't have the catbird cannon, we do. Excellent. Uh oh. Larger Z outbreaks. This is where it's going to start getting tricky. So now it's just time to forget about the level ones. So we have infantry, snipers, and barricades. Given that our infantry is leveled up, I absolutely believe that uh, with some proper barricading, this becomes a choke point. As does this area, which means that a helicopter here is going to be doing an awful lot of good for us. Whereas the snipers can be stationed here and made to fire towards these guys. Whereas the infantry can start out here, shoot anything coming down and then move over and start defending the choke point. Good. That's ah, not good at all. Some civilians running straight into the arms of the zombies. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. That's ah, ridiculously bad. What are these people doing? Okay, just bombard. Uh oh Well, they they fought valiantly. Uh, let nobody else let nobody say anything else. Although of course now we have a bit of an issue because when nightfall comes, We just hope that this crowd is uh... Uh oh. No. I really regret blowing up my infantry now. Sorry guy. Sorry guys. This was not a good mission. Oh dear. That could have gone a lot better. It could have gone a lot worse. Somehow. Can 
I researched something useful. Mercenary. Artillery mod. Yeah, the artillery mod is actually very useful because bigger explosions means more Zeds killed by explosions. Which is a, um, a noble goal to strive for. Uh, we are very under capacity for this mission. How exciting. So, I think what I would like is for the snipers to c cover this area. And then just rescue as many scientists as possible. not good. I'm not even sure we can meet the quota right now. Oh no. Come on. Two tip more. Yes. Good work. Good work, guys. Whew. That was, um, that was a mess. I mean... Clearing out a level 2 from the Zeds, it's always a good thing, but it's not really enough. We also need to get a good good scoring so that we can uh, proceed a bit faster. Well done, Asa. Oh, now we have some problems. But at least we have big artillery chunks. And I can set up dynamite here, 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 and here. And then one here. The artillery can then be used to fire on guys here to soften them up. And the dynamite can be used together with the zombie attractant. Mm. Is that a good idea though? I'm not entirely sure. I think that this dynamite goes better over here. Just to support the uh, support the dynamite. So I'll just Artillery is actually very uh, slow, slow to fire, so I have to make sure to have a good lead. Oop. Well, these things happen. They do. Unfortunately, with nightfall coming, I think that uh, 
the next launch is going to have to be uh, perhaps somewhat unethical. You can't. Nope. You have 10 seconds to get on that chopper, guys. Well, I guess you needed some. a bigger chopper. Alright, well, it could have gone worse. Ah, the Elephant Bird Super Cannon. That'll be just the ticket for dealing with the level 4 area, I think. Right, let's go then. This is basically just complete, sheer, total death from above. The amusing thing is that actually you can upgrade the artillery to the point where it behaves very similar to the elephant bird. But that's mostly for longer games. Okay, 26 seconds. Good deal. Zed's dead. And one benefit of doing this is that it actually yields an awful lot of scientists. Which is good because that helps us give... Oof. Level 4... Uh oh. Okay, well it could have been put in a worse area. Somehow. I would like to improve the artillery and also the experience gain by mercenaries. I'm going to send in the chopper to a level 2 area. And with landmines set up like this I think that we'll have some decent enough coverage If I start the helicopter here, we are quite close to the gas line, which is not ideal, but something I will need to deal with. If I just start out... So I might actually be able to get this one in the bag. Come on now guys, they're just zombies, they're not even fast ones. You, you can catch up. In fact, it's absolutely imperative that you do, because they must die. Nice work. And I want the loading time to be slightly faster. For the artillery, 
I would like the reload time to be a bit faster. I can always... Oh, good deal. The llama bombs. Perfect for um, eradicating several uh, high value Z areas. favorite t-shirt and opens the front door. She starts walking. Harsh. Select territories to cleanse. Well, don't mind if I do. Just those big areas there. Sometimes the area detection is a bit funky, I think. I think the most valuable one I can do though is to smash this one. And let's evacuate somewhere. We have snipers, barricades, and landmines. Feels like a level 2 loadout for the time being. Though I really am not a fan of the landmines. They don't they don't do a whole lot. Especially not in the face of large zombie hordes. And controlling the area by use of uh, snipers is not actually... Or barricades is not particularly useful if you don't have any, uh, any soldiers enforcing your borders. Hopefully the snipers will be able to hold this line. I don't want to fire that. I have to. I have to. Sorry guys. Better dead than Zed, right? We were about to suffer a containment breach, and so... Oh. We'll rescue as many people as we can. Well then, lads, you've made your choice. Fortunately, the mission difficult actually rendered it quite a fair bit of points for us, so I reduced the reposition time to make the snipers more flexible. And the barricades, they're a simple matter of just having an extra barricade to play with. Very useful stuff. As a bum hand if I ever seen one. Okay, so the basic gist of it is going to have to be A 
a judicious application of death by gas line. I don't really see how else I would make that work. Mr. Zombie. Okay, well now there's only one zombie left in the city. My question is if I can build up enough saved civilians to actually fire the cat burnt cannon at it. Doesn't look... Oh. I might actually be able to. Until then, I'm going to attempt to lure it as far away from the civilians as I can. Yeah, I think I'll be able to build up enough catbird charge to blow it up. Yeah. It should really feel quite honored that I'm using this much firepower on it. <laughs> reload time should be reduced because the reload time for the Z bait is prohibitively long. It's actually very useful because it can really do a last minute turnaround if you pull a horde of Zs away from um, from a crowd of people. Shorter daytime, less Z. And now I have Ah, yes. Infantry, barricades, bait, and artillery. Let's do a level three. So for this one, I want the helicopter smack bang in the middle. I want the artillery a bit further out. Barricades would be useful in order to make sure that the Zeds have to travel as far as possible in order to get to me. Infantry can be camped out here. The artillery will then be used to soften up this lot before they become a problem. So. Let's go. And I can just start start firing immediately. A bit slow on the draw. Less said they say. Are they crazy? Oh, yeah, this crowd isn't making it. Not in the least because of the fact that I blew them up with the catbird cannon, but that's just kind of par for the course, really. Still, it's good to get as many kills as possible with the um, artillery and your troops, because that provides them a lot of good experience. 
and with uh, with 80 percent accuracy the soldiers are actually going to be very very um, robust so things are looking good right now Tooth girl from Letzeburg pedals her bike furiously. She adopts a diet of no dose pills. After several days, she can't tell whether she's awake or dreaming. Oh no, that's a, that's a big, big outbreak. Go for a level two. I believe that my soldiers will now have an excellent ability to cope with uh, anything that might come up. There's the mines placed. I am most worried about this corner right here. They'll, they'll be further away, so they can go there. Helicopter should be here. And the soldiers can uh, can hang out until the buildings have gone up in flames. Now the soldiers can just go out and mop these zombies up while the snipers get the rest. This will be a good day for humankind. An extra landmine. Brilliant. So now it's just time to actually finish them off. With a level two, enough level 2 or level 3 areas, I believe that there should really be nothing stopping a good progress on the victory front. Bait, artillery... So what can I get? Kraken bomb, elephant bird, nephrin. Hmm. Don't really like any of these. Might save up for the. Uh, might save up for the cat bird one. Till then, I'm going to tackle a level three. Artillery should always be as far away from the Zeds as possible. Set one bomb up here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. The back helicopter should be here. One barricade there, there, there. Which means that all zombies coming from down here are going to have to go all the way up here. Unless, of course, this takes out far more than expected, but live and learn. Let's go. And just put in a fire order straight away. Suffer not the zombie to live. Mm -hmm. 
That's a good hit right there. That's what I want to see. With some luck right now, these artillery shells are going to take out all the Zeds. Yes! That's great. I'll in increase the impact, or decrease the impact time now rather. I'll make it a lot easier for me to actually lead zombies and put, put damage where I want it. I'll upgrade the catbird and then go for this one. So I do have landmines right now, and I think barricade here and here are going to make zombies travel very far distances. In fact, another one there is going to make them have to travel all the way up here. Which means that the snipers can have a field day with these guys. I would like to be a little bit careful about damaging these buildings now. But I'll put one here. I'll put another landmine here. And seeing as how I have a spare, I'll put one there as well. These soldiers... ...can start out here. And the helicopter goes here. I think that'll work out tremendously nicely. In fact, another barricade here and it's going to slow zombie stands something fierce. Now when the infantry comes up there, we're gonna see that the Zeds will have virtually no chance of getting through. Slightly conscious I don't blow up my infantry, but mm. 
Yes, this is going to be an excellent rescue mission. Perfect, so now everybody is in good order. In just a little bit, we'll have rescued everyone that doesn't purposely run their face into a crowd of zombies. Which we know can happen. Such as this guy. This guy thought he was safer with the zombies than with the guys ferociously killing zombies. Well... We have to respect individual choice. And these guys also feel safer with the zombies than with the actual evac helicopter. You really can't do anything about that. I think this is it. Ah oh, yes, I have averted the said apocalypse. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this. It ended up being a little bit longer than I was expecting, but uh, that these things happen. It didn't really feel appropriate to uh, cut it short in the middle when it's only an hour long. That being said, Hope you enjoyed watching. Please feel free to leave feedback in the comments. Like, subscribe, if you would like. If you wouldn't, feel free not to do this. And finally, I hope you have a very nice day.